How's it going everybody? Hank Harrison with Ross Motorsports in Lufkin, Texas, your certified Bass Cat dealer. This is the video that a lot of people have been waiting for and that we've gotten a ton of questions about. And that is all of the footage that I've gotten and that we got from the Bass Cat dealer meeting over the Puma STS. This is the brand new boat for 2022. We have had a huge, huge um, amount of interest in this boat. We've already changed a ton of 2022 orders to this new boat. Now, uh, one of the biggest questions is, is this an updated Puma FTD? This is not. This is a completely from the ground up different boat that we are gonna be seeing for 2022 and that we are all super excited about. In this video, you're gonna see a lot of different clips spliced in pieces from the Bass Cat dealer meeting. You might see there, there's a bunch of people around the boat and now there's not. It's just because that's the way I felt that the videos lined up best as we're talking about the two Puma STSs that they had there. One has the complete reflex flooring, which is red and paired with a 300 uh, Mercury V8. And then the other one is the blue one that you're gonna see as well as the one that we get to test drive with the 250 Pro XS. That one has the carpet and then the reflex flooring in the cockpit. So both boats are loaded out with the same features. The only big difference you're gonna see is what's powering it and to the reflex flooring. So guys, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Leave all the questions that you have down in the comments. I'm gonna be paying it close attention to this video to make sure you get your questions answered. And if not, make sure to give us a call at 936-634-6711. Guys, hope y'all enjoy the video and we'll see y'all soon. Brand new, right out of the box. A lot of times we can cut and paste, but we didn't cut and paste anything here. That's the last part of it. And that's a brand new splash well. So we're working to improve the strength on the splash well. So we've changed the mounting on the back end. I'll probably never in my career go to a flat splash well that's boat. So we reduced the pockets, try to get a get better bite and increase, increase the strength the way we did it. And this is the product on the shop floor a week and a half ago probably. We really pushed to get it. Well. Hey guys, it's Andrew here at Ross Motorsports, or with Ross Motorsports, we are at the 2022 Bass Cat Dealer Meet. Here behind me is the new Puma STS, it's an all new boat. They redesigned it, there's going to be a lot of new features on this boat. They came up here and they redesigned the front splash wheel. You are now able to stack dual grass without having to buy an additional mount. There is going to be some new options for some new carpet padding. So it's not, the links is a longer haul. About 18 inches of running surface. We're going to go back here. Rick so is explaining the running surface of this boat. Right so this is a shorter hull than that length. But the, what we've done in the hull is really improved the ride. And you all feel that today. The ride is phenomenal. And that's why what's in this hull is a part of why the Jag rides so good. And I know Drew and a couple of you run the boats, the Jags. And that's why the Jag Andrew ran a Jag, and the ride's just phenomenal. But we took the Jag ride and what we learned there and shifted it into this. You just keep evolving what you're working on. And so we've evolved that hole, and we did some really cool stuff. We did sacrifice on this hole about a mile or two an hour. So it's definitely not as quick as the 20 foot hole was before. And the old phone? Right. But this is why we killed the Puma FTD was so we could make this the new Puma in an SDS series. Do you have a spec for length on it? Uh, it's 20 foot uh, seven, but uh, okay. and it's 98 wide. Okay. And it's, as you saw in the pictures, it's fresh ground up. Yes, sir. But the bow graphs are slick the way we've got them set up. Oh, we've got twins on balls outs over there, singles over here. We got to do some tweaking on the balls out arms because they mounted them. Then we need to reverse some stuff. Yes. Sir. So there from Rick Pierce, he's giving us a little more details about this boat. So he did say it's 20 yeah. foot seven. No, actually, it will be a little bit hearts. slower than it's got the, the older same. Puma. Uh, this is going to be kind of, I guess, a mix up between the Puma and the length. We are going to get <laughs> back there to where we can see the new latches. That's going to be a new feature for this next year. 
So you can see we do have slam latches now. So this is going to be all new. Of course, we do still have the fiberglass step box cup holders on the side. We're going to go up here to Rick again. When I come up on the foot pedal, I want these graphs to look right at me. So the graphs are looking right at me. They're not over here. If I'm in the middle of the boat, and if I'm here, my graphs are still right at me. And we built it with a step in there. And everyone thinks that's a two flat planes. It's two flat planes. A little more to it. The lightning detector's on the bow. Your live scope's on this separate switch and has a little live scope mark on it. So you can turn your live scope on or off now from that switch. And there it just went green, so there's a power surge somewhere. It picked up a little surge. Lightning detector's on. Latches are simple, push, pull. Push, pull. You can close them. Or you can close them and close them. And they're double stage. So you push them down, they go all the way to the bottom. They click, click, just like the car door. And you're going to control water flow in the rain for this too, right? There is no water flow because it runs outside the channel. So that's what he just said. He built that where it sets Kim's up got outside a video the room. <laughs> this is a twin. So it has two latches on it, two catches, and two latch arms. So actually it's one lock assembly now and two catches. And this is the most functional boat. All these parts are actually production parts. They'll only be in two models right now, Ricky. This and the jack. But we have some work to do. It'll, be, it'll eventually happen, but it's going to take some time. So as you're seeing, he is going over the latches. It's a new concept to where the latches are outside of the box where we don't have to worry about water leaking through the latch. We will get some more pictures of this boat posted online. We'll keep you updated. If you have any questions, remember to check out our website, rossmotorsports.com. Give us a shout, 936-634-6711. Thank y'all. building this handle for us. We have another company building the catch. We have another company building the rod. This simply doesn't come from one company. And we got another company building the actual catch arm. Four companies in golf. So right there. Carpus 56 inches all the way where you're standing. All the way. The heat, the heat, the tank. Yeah, chrome. Chrome deck fills on a gas tank heat the interior, so now you got more gassing, more EPA issues. So all that EPA EPAP system on a chrome gas fill, it makes all your problems worse. Makes sense, doesn't it? So I'm staying black plastic intentionally, Doug. That should be the 50th anniversary pole with the logo on it. So they're the, the matte finish pole. So 78 inches of carpet. About eight inches more. 
Yeah. Andrew's got his tape measure out. Seven, 70 what? 79. What was the front seat post, Andrew? Go five, five. Give me a five, five for me. Five foot off the tip of the nose. Five foot off the tip of the nose. We go to the tip of the trim. Tip of the trim at five foot, and then measure that dimension. So the five five dimension is what? Six foot, not quite. 69 inches. 69 inches. I thought it was 68, so I'll go with 69. That's carpet. That's carpet is 68. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to get the real weight, you call him 410. Alrighty guys, there you have it, the 2022 Puma STS. All I can say is that uh, Bass Cat hit it out of the park with this boat. This is the, the big body, rough water riding boat that, that we've been looking for for so many years. You know, they started to tap into that, to that, um, to that market with the Lynx and with the Jaguar obviously, but I can honestly say they, they, they blew this boat out of the water when it comes to um, what our first expectations were, um, sitting there getting those, those videos um, and that footage there at the Bass Cat dealer meeting and then going out onto the water. Um, it, it, it was mind blowing this boat. We were all so impressed with it. Um, let's get into some of my notes that I took down um, just as overviews. And if y'all want a full comprehensive video of our thoughts, uh, Andrew, Ryan, and I's thoughts over the dealer meeting as a whole, as well as touching into the to the features of the Puma STS and the Jaguar. Make sure to go down onto our YouTube channel, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see a full comprehensive video of our thoughts. After watching this video, it might make a lot more sense than going and watching that video because you'll have an idea of what we're talking about. But the overall ride, uh, I wasn't able to get a ton of on the water footage just in the fact that. Um, you know, we I got the good takeoff. I got some really good stuff there in the beginning, but a lot of the times, you know, half the time I was actually driving, so I wasn't able to video as well. Um, and then me and Andrew, we, we were just having a ball. 
Um, we were having a great, great time out there on Lake North Fork. I believe we're on North Fork. Don't, you know, bash me on that if I was wrong, but I believe we were on North Fork and we were having a great time. Um, so between that, um, there was not a ton of rough water. Um, Lake North Fork is a very windy bluff wall lake. Um, and it, it doesn't, we weren't, in, at least in the area that we were in, there weren't huge rollers, you know, like we're, we're used to on Rayburn or Toledo or anything like that. But the lake was very sloppy. And what I mean by sloppy is that there was a ton of boat traffic, whether it be uh, from the, the guys uh, doing demo rides like us or just people out there enjoying the lake. There were a ton of people out there. So it was um, really sloppy. So in between waves, um, no real direction to them. Um, and you can kind of see that in the video once we get running and really hauling. But I mean, the boat just took it so, so well. Um, there was no, you know, real jarring action. I was able to sit there very comfortably. I was really just leaning back just like this, um, riding passenger, just holding on like this. Might have had my hand on occasionally, but most of the time I was holding with both hands. Um, and I was able to really hold the camera steady as well as sit in the boat comfortably. That's one thing, one of the things I highlighted with the Jaguar video that we did with Andrew um, and, and Ryan uh, with the four, 400R um, and then also with Andrew's Jaguar was that I was just able to ride through it comfortably, have no problems, get around and move the boat. I could have very well easily done that in that boat as well. Um, we weren't able to get any reliable top speeds from the boat just in the fact that um, that the boat was completely unloaded. No trolling motor batteries, nothing up front, nothing in the back. Um, we did have like three quarter tanks in there. So that is something to note. Um, it was just me and Andrew. That was it. It did have trolling motor. Um, that boat, I believe that one did have power poles, had graphs, everything, but there was nothing that, you know, a real tournament fisherman would have had in there, which is trolling motor batteries, tackle, rods. I mean, the whole nine yards. So. Um, adding in trolling motor batteries, this is just from what we've talked about. We could see an improvement in the ride. You know, you got to think with a lighter boat, you're going to be able to get, you know, it up higher up on the pad um, and less boat in the water. You know, once you get that boat a little bit farther down in the water, you might be able to actually get some better performance overall, maybe top end speed as well as um, your rough water ride. So. What's really cool is that we have a ton of these on order, whether it be through our pro staff members um, or our uh, just general customers who have special ordered these boats. So as they come in, we're gonna be able to get live um, feedback from fishermen who have these boats tournament rigged and are on the water getting real experiences with this, which is absolutely awesome. But overall take on the, on the ride, phenomenal. The reflex flooring. Um, a lot of people have their own thoughts on the reflex flooring on the deck, whether it be the front and the back and everything else. I personally liked it. I thought it was a very cool idea of Bass Cat to start to incorporate that. You know, that's something that a lot of people have been asking for, whether it just be in the cockpit like they have done, which everybody loves. Everybody loves that idea. Absolutely awesome, Bass Cat. But up on the front, you know, when I was doing that full walk around video inside the boat, all I could, you know, my biggest take was how comfortable it was. I mean, you truly felt, um, you know, the thickness of it was a lot thicker than other competitors' products when it comes to high density foam flooring. Um, you know, I won't say anybody else, but everybody knows the competitors out there. Um, and, and this flooring, a lot thicker. And to me, what it felt like was that it was a lot gonna be, it's gonna be a lot more durable. Um, the big perks of this is that it's easy to wash out. Um, having the reflex flooring in the bottom of the boat is gonna allow um, for that water to drain out faster as well as the bottom of your boat to not hold water. Everybody knows that the, the, you know, the front and back deck of your boat will dry out in a couple hours, you know, if that on a real hot sunny day. The bottom of your boat after two days, even in the sun, will still be wet. Um, so having that reflex flooring, especially in the uh, bottom of the boat is huge. And then up front um, is just a really, really cool feature. Um, when it comes to the slam latches, guys, y'all saw it several times, them explaining it. Um, I really, really think that's gonna be awesome. There's only gonna be two models for 2022 as of right now that are going to have the slam latches. That's the Jaguar and the Puma STS. 
Um, so those are gonna be the only two models. They're going to come standard. So you won't have the option to my understanding to have the, the standard original latches that we've seen in the Bass Cats for 2021 on those models. So I really like it. The slam latch is a awesome idea. They're outside of the actual uh, gunnel of the, or outside, I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking about how to explain it. Uh, they explained it in the video. They're outside the rod box. That's what I'm trying to say. So we won't have to worry about any water leaking inside, which is so crucial um, to keeping water tight boxes, not getting any water moisture in there. Um, other than that, for 2022, all premium boats are gonna come standard with 28 ounce carpet. To my knowledge, that is the highest quality carpet in the bass boat industry. Um, I can't show you the difference between what 24 ounce was, which was already really, really comfortable, long lasting, durable carpet, which was in all of the premium boats uh, for 2021. But the 28 ounce carpet, holy cow. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's incredible, the quality. Um, and what I mean by the ounce, I mean the thickness. The thickness of the carpet, the quality of the carpet is just next level. Um, they, change, they change the seat upholstery. Um, that's something that I really didn't think about. Um, they changed the seat upholstery to a new, higher quality, more durable upholstery. Um, you could feel the difference in that too. Um, all of the little different plaques where you're gonna have your power switches or anything like that, instead of having kind of a, a waved metal or a machine metal look, they're gonna have a Damascus look. So just little things here and there that I thought were really cool and that are gonna count on the backside. Um, the lightning detector, really, really cool deal. Uh, that's gonna be one of those things where some people won't ever pay attention to it. Uh, and some people, it might just save their butt um, a time or two. I know it'll save me, especially out here on, out here on Rayburn or Toledo where we don't have cell surface. Um, I can't check the weather. As soon as I see that sucker pop on, um, I know I need to make a move or I need to do something to get out of there to keep myself safe. Um, so it's gonna come standard on all premium boats, the lightning detector will. Um, and then the new grab handle. So very so much like the links on the side of the boat, um, very similar to the grab handle um, on the side of the gunnel and then you have a grab handle um, in between for the passenger in between the fiberglass step box that is updated and has a new look and your actual seat because the boat's so wide you have that room. Thank you so much Bass Cat. Everybody knows what the real name of those grab handles are. Um, I'm not gonna say it but everybody knows what those grab handles are for and it's those oh crap moments. Um, having those awesome billet aluminum handles that are super sturdy are, are key to having your co-anglers confidence. Um, especially if you're a pro co-tournament like the Toyotas or the BFLs, um, having someone new in your boat for multiple days on end or for a whole season, um, you want those people to be confident. Having those two major grab handles is awesome. Guys, there's a lot more that I could talk about, but I urge you and I encourage you to go watch that uh, comprehensive video that we did over the entire 2022 Bass Cat dealer meeting. Um, very in depth, y'all have a y'all will have a greater understanding over what um, we cover in there after watching this video. Um, so make sure to go check that out. Other than that, guys, if y'all have any questions, if y'all want to order a boat for 2022, give us a call 936-634-6711 or visit our website to view our current inventory at rossmotorsports.com. As always, guys, I hope y'all have a phenomenal day and I hope this was a great video for y'all to watch. Like I said, any other questions, make sure to give us a call or text, excuse me, and we'll see y'all on the next one.